I am Mr. Fletcher, and this is the house that my class is building this year. A little messy today. We didn't. We ran long. We didn't get a chance to clean up. It's just before the holidays, so I let the kids go without uh, cleaning up. So, anyway, that's why it's messy. Usually, our site is clean as a pin. So let's start over here at the opening. Show you what's going on. This is our egress window. The city makes us install an egress window in every house we build, even though the basement's not uh, finished. There's the drain, which ties into the drainage system under the house, so if any water goes into the, into the, uh, the uh, egress window, it can drain out and go into the rest of the system. Underneath the floor, this is the footing here. We didn't do that, we had that poured by a company and these are the walls. And this we did do, we framed the floor system and the rest of the house, so. Here's our stanchion pad. That's where our I-beam's gonna sit eventually, I mean our uh, stanchion pole's gonna sit eventually. This is where the water comes in over here. Uh, the water comes into the house and then the sewer drain takes the water back out of the house. This is a bleeder over here for the groundwater. I'll show you some more bleeders as we come across them. I see one over there. But this is a poured concrete uh, foundation. Uh, steel I-beam. Main beam, I should say. W-beam. Uh, two by 12 floor joists. Conventional framing. There's our stairs coming down that we actually made in the shop. We make our own stairs and bring them out here on site. Look at that nice workmanship. All screwed and glued together that'll never come apart. There's a beam pocket for the I-beam to sit in. That'll be packed in with concrete. There's the mud sill. On top of the foundation wall, you can see the metal straps on there. We just call them Simpson ties because that's what we use, Simpson ties. See some there too, there's a couple. And that holds the uh, house down to the foundation. There's one of the bleeders. So there's a drain tile on the outside of the foundation. And then the bleeder brings it inside the foundation and goes over to our sump pit. And then the sump pit comes on and pumps the water out. I mean the sump pump in the pit comes on and pumps the water out. So that's it, little, uh, little basement windows up high. We're gonna glass block those this year. There's no rod holes in this foundation, so these little tabs will be broken off, removed. That's what holds the forms together when they pour the concrete. Uh, there's, you know, a form on the outside and a form on the inside, and these tabs hold everything together. And uh, when it's set up, they pull the rods out of these holes and then break the tabs off later. Let's see what else have we done here. Uh, that's about it here in the basement. I'll make a separate video for everybody on the uh, upper floors. But things are coming along. We're just about closed in here. That's it. Thanks for watching. Support uh, building trades in your local high school.